This problem says write the statement as an equivalent statement that does not use the if-then connective. And the statement is, if the dessert is chocolate, then he eats it. Now you have to recall a result that we've already discussed. I label these useful results. We're actually not going to use both of them for this particular question, but they are um, results that tell you how to take the uh, an implication and rewrite it without the if-then and it also tells you how you can take the negation of an implication and write it without the if-then. In particular an if-then statement, an implication can be written as an or and the negation of an implication can be written as an and. So the first result says P implies Q is equivalent to the negation of P or Q. So the P is negated, the Q is left alone. If you want to write the negation of an implication without if then, you write down P, combine it with an AND with the negation of Q. So for the negation of an implication, you always get an AND and you're negating the Q and leaving the P alone. So however you want to do that, you need to learn these. I'm giving them to you here, but you need to learn them on your own because you're not always going to be given that information. Now, once you have it, we can now answer the question. If the dessert is chocolate, then he eats it. Write that as an equivalent statement without that if-then connective. The trick is to think of which is which. This is P. The dessert is chocolate. This is Q. He eats it. So looking at this first result, it tells me how to take an implication and write it without the if-then. I'll just copy it down here so I can work with it better. Not P or Q. So if I can translate this into a grammatically correct English sentence, I'll have done what they ask. So here we go. I take the negation of P, so if the dessert is chocolate is P, I mean not the if part, the dessert is chocolate is P, then the dessert is not chocolate would be not P, and then you have an or, and finally you write Q down as is, which would be he eats it. So this sentence, the dessert is not chocolate or he eats it, is equivalent to the original statement without using if then. Now let's move a little further. What if I now ask you to write the negation of that same statement that we had above? If the dessert is chocolate, then he eats it. That's exactly the same statement as before. So the dessert is chocolate is P. He eats it is Q. But this time I want to write the negation of it. So that means I have to go back and use this formula. So if I write that down so I can get to it better, I have the negation of P implies Q is equivalent to P and not Q. Remember I've just taken this formula here and brought it down to where I can work with it better. So let's get back to work. If I can translate this into a grammatically correct English sentence I'm done. So here we go. P is the dessert is chocolate. The dessert is chocolate. There's an and. The negation of an implication is always an and. And then Q is negated. So if he eats it as Q, then he does not eat it would be the negation of that. So this statement, the dessert is chocolate, and he does not eat it, 
is the negation of the original statement. And notice it also does not have an if-then. 